Hello from Bryson City. It's time again for another art lesson. Uh, today we're going to be painting with dirt. Sounds pretty exciting, huh? So I've got an assistant here today. Betsy's here to help me. So. Hi. <laughs> so um, went on a little road trip this morning and collected up a couple different kinds of dirt for you guys. So let me flip the camera around here and I'll show you what I have for you today. All right. Here on our table, we got a couple different things. So here's, here's some uh, dirt from uh, exit 64 down the road here. It's kind of sandy, got some stones in it. Um, lots of quartz in here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Here's some more from the same place. Just right down there at the Alarca exit. This looks like a blend of this and some red clay. But again, sandy. You can see lots of quartz, a little bit of mica in there. So interesting. Um, just some regular potting soil. Lots of organic material in this. That's what makes it um, brown. nice and dark. Yeah, dark brown, black. More organic stuff that's in this, the darker it'll be. And this is some dirt from behind the SEC Swain Center. Very orange. Um, not quite full red like uh, red clay, but I do know uh, we've put this on pots and stuff at the, um, at the school. And when it comes out of the kiln, it turns, uh, it's, it's turned almost a, um, like, a, like a purple um, murmur, well, maroon, because it's from Swain County, right? <laughs> but... Uh, this, uh, it's, so that tells me, at least through that test, that this particular dirt is um, high in iron. So it has lots of iron in it. So we're going to be mixing these up, and I'll show you how to get started with that. All right. I'll grab me too. You're good. I don't need you. All right, let's get these little cups. So what we want to do to start off with is... I can get them apart. There we go. Take a little cup. You go ahead and take a little cup. So what we want to do is just put a little scoop of this, uh, about a third full, into this little cup. I want the stir for sure. That's fine. You go ahead. Here's a third of this. A little bit more. Here, pick it up and hold it on an angle. There you go. Hey. Yep, that looks good. And some of the potting soil. All right. Step number two, after you get your dirt into the little cups, is to add some water. That color turned out way better. Grayish. Okay. Is this going to be watercolor? So after we, it'll be like watercolor, yes. This one needs more water, I'll say. So let's get, um, let me give you a brush. Why don't you use yeah. the end of the brush? Stir. Get a cup and stir. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's all over my hands. Mm-hmm. You're doing some cross-contamination. Oh geez. This one's gonna be weird. This one will be a little bit different. Each of these will have organic matter, rocks, stones, stuff like that in it. So we'll have to be very careful when we paint um, to kind of pick that stuff out or I mean, it doesn't matter. You can also um, you can also leave it in there. Do you want me to paint? So. Paper for me, Dad? Yeah, you can use that mat board. Yeah, okay. I'll just flip it over. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me I start off. Brush. I don't want that. Get a small one. Right? Yeah. This one looks good. I'm thinking this one. I'm sorry, this guy. I'm going to use, I think so I'm going to use this one. I, this is a uh, number eight filbert. Love my filbert brushes. Can I start painting? 
So yeah, what I want to start off with is um, start with the. Let's. Start, I'm going to start with the lightest color. If you want to start with the darkest color, that's fine. So. Oh Jesus! See, this is going on kind of gray and white. I'm going to make a couple stripes with mine. Now I'm going to go up a little bit darker. Make sure I mix it as I as I get some more. Lots of sand in this one, as you can see. Dropped it in the ground. <laughs> now we'll go up to, to this really orange. Try some of that. Yeah. And now the potting soil. So I'm gonna have to stir around to avoid all the big chunks. So as you can see, it kind of works like watercolor. Very much, obviously. Um, pardon the pun, but earth tones. Okay, what color should I use next? I'm going to use this color. This orange color is really I'm going to turn mine this way. There we go. So you guys Ooh, can... Let's see. Right here, it got it darker than that one. I'm just making the base. So what are you painting? Mountains. You got some mountains there. Very I, nice. It's just the beginning, people. It's just the beginning. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> lighter color. Get a bigger brush this time, a little bit bigger brush. So yeah, so each of these soils, as I mentioned earlier, this from the SCC probably has high iron in it. So each of these soils has a different um, mineral content, a different type of uh, structure and makeup. It would be very interesting to do an analysis and find out what that is. Um, I'm pretty sure this soil, like I said, it has the quartz and it's such a light color. I think it has feldspar in it, which is good for um, making pottery. Now you can also, in addition to painting with um, with dirt, <laughs> you can go out and acquire some local dirt and sieve out the uh, oh God, nature. the larger stuff, the larger chunks and pieces and impurities, and um, see if you can make some clay out of it. If you do that, one of the things you want to check for is if it's short. Um, which means that it will not bond very well together. Short means you go to roll it and it cracks up into little bitty pieces. 
Um, you want to check for the elasticity of it. If you mix it up and it's very sticky, you need to add a short clay to it because very sticky clay um, won't come off your hands and you can't really form it. So. Take this one that's in the middle here. Let me slide these over here for you. Do that. Take this one that's in the middle. And I'm going to do a stripe one. right here. There's some of our stones. <laughs> put another stripe right here. Look and see if I found anything good. There might be a, a, a garnet or a ruby or a diamond in here. Maybe a so. ruby. I was surprised if we get a ruby. <laughs> Rubies are like it. What I call rubies, I think are rare. Because <laughs> I've never seen one before. You've seen a ruby before. I've never seen one Remember one we've been gem mining down in uh, oh, yeah, Franklin? Yeah. yeah. And then I got a diamond. And you got quartz. I think you found, diamond. You found quartz, garnets, and then that one ruby. And then no, no and then sapphires. You know, I got one sapphire. I have it in my rock Did collection. You? Yeah. I don't remember that. And then I have one aqua marine, my bridgestone. Aqua marine? Marine, yes. I'll go show it if we're talking about stones. No, that's all right. Oh, okay. I think they would love to see it, though. They might. That might be another video we can talk about. Stones. Gym. Being a rock hound and hunting for gems. and. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'll take it down my dad using the big brush. Ah, you're getting it on me. <laughs> we'll just finish painting up like this. I'm going to add a little variation in here. Let it puddle up. If it flakes off after it dries, that's okay. I'm not painting something realistic, so it's more of the uh, just the idea of getting out, collecting some dirt from your yard or around your neighborhood. And seeing what you can do with it. Or town or city. Yep. Wherever you guys live. I shouldn't be specific. Town, city, state. Country. Yep. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Just grab some. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm using this big brush. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going right. too crazy. In my reward. So... As you're going with this, remember to clean out your brushes. It might be a little bit different this time because you have dirt. chunks of stuff in there. So. Dirt. It's all dirt. Yep. Best part about painting with dirt is when you get finished, you can use your leftover water to water your plants. And it's free. So, yep. <laughs> That's what gets most people into doing this. Because it's free. Oh, well, while Betsy's painting, I want to talk about a couple other things here with this dirt. Um, in addition to mixing it with water, like we've done here, you can... Um, you can mix this after you sieve it and get all the larger stones out of it. You you could mix this with uh, linseed oil and actually oil paint with this. So, I mean, from a color palette, from a standpoint, from, um, you know, classical oil colors, I mean, this would be more of a uh, raw sienna. Um, getting close to a to a gray, maybe maybe not Payne's gray, but definitely, uh, definitely gray. But, yeah, see, look, there's all these little chunks of stuff in here you'd have to filter all that out because if you went to paint with that on oil or mix that up it'd be a it'd be a bear to deal with um here you're getting kind of a tan he's also a pottery master i'll tell you guys that i'm not a, no i'm not a pottery master thank you though I'll leave that to the real Pottery Masters. And then this would be, this color here would be more like a, uh, um, like a burn umber. So you can actually get from, um, from nature, um, most of the colors you need to do oil painting. 
Um, so I've let this dry for a few minutes. We'll see what happens. I'm going to stand it up and see what falls off. So here we go. A uh, little bit of a landscape. You could turn it this way if you wanted to as well. A couple different ways you could view it. Just depends on uh, how you wanted that to look. Let's see what you've got. You want to hold that up? Not yet. Not yet? What was that? I just got to do this mountain. Right there and one right here. I know mountains are this color. These mountains are round. Don't forget there's shadows in the hollers. Like what my dad said. The world is not flat, it's round. That's why you can't see all the mountains in the world. Because the world is round. Because if you're here in North Carolina... You can't see the mountains of China. You can't see the flatlands of Florida because the world is round. We have some great birds around here. Alright, I found what I was looking for. Yay! Another pot right Yes, I have. I have these heavy duty uh, watercolor board uh, that could be used as postcards. So while I'm thinking about it and while we got the dirt out here, let's paint one up. This is where I want to draw. With my left. This is going to be fun. I'm gonna have some in storage. Here, you can take it over there. I'm, I'm done over now. Let go sit. That's Let's why see. you can't see all the mountains in the world. The world is <laughs> round. Very nice. That's why I do it underneath. Okay, so here you go. And there's people who think that the world is going to turn into a donut shape. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Oh. Did you find that on YouTube? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Some things come true. Some people come do through. We use, this, we use this lighter color to fill in the sky here. Yes. Dad, if you want to go get some more mat board and do another okay. big one. I like this one. This is all I need. I should put this. Where should I put this? Right here. Right here so the people can see it. Well, you need to lay it flat while it dries, okay? Oh, okay. I'll just yeah. there. See, I'm gonna uh -huh. put mine. I'm gonna put mine down here on the ground okay. so it can dry. All right, got it 
all covered. Some more fun facts about dirt. Some more fun facts about dirt. That's what I, I found. I call them fun. Well, I know you can get your soil tested for free at the Cooperative Extension Office. <laughs> That'll let you know like what kind of amendments you need to add for growing plants and stuff. that dry we'll see what happens the little one Betsy's got one going on too tiny little one let's see what but you I got so done. far I, I just got that I want some of this to sand but and then mix it in some water for some reason that feels it looks cool Here, let me show you how. let's see what you got going on there just put the sand on top the sand be crispy but when you peel the sand off, it has a crispy licking. <laughs> this can be yep, too yep. much fun, I tell you what. Yep, yep. <laughs> Dum Dum's from the movie Night at the Museum. Yeah. Right I'm Good not going to spoil it for all those people who haven't seen it. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Good. Because I don't want to spoil everything. Like, I spoil the milk. <laughs> don't spoil the milk. I spoil the cheese. No, you don't spoil the cheese. I spoil everything. No. You're being silly. Alright. Well, that's it for us today. So, um, look forward to seeing what you create. Um, as always, please post some pictures in the comments. We'd like to see what you've done. So, any questions? Anything like that at all? Put those in the comments as well. And um, hope you guys are doing well, enjoying the warm weather. Stay safe out there. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.